In this video, we're going to go over how to connect one funnel page to the next. So as you can see, I chose the opt-in or email funnel for this demonstration. It makes it really easy because there's only two pages. So it makes a lot of sense to have the first page connect to the second page in this particular funnel. So I'm going to come over here to my opt-in page and I'm going to choose a template. And I'm going to go ahead and use a blank one and I'm going to edit it in the builder. The first thing I'm going to do is choose a background just so you can see how it works, but I am going to keep this pretty short and simple. So we all already know how to add a background image, and if you don't, we've gone over this in several other videos, so please refer to those. But I'm just going to go ahead and pick an image, and I'm going to move this down a bit. And I'm going to use form elements, and I'm just going to build a really quick opt-in page. So I'm going to choose a form element, and I'm going to check text input. It's going to be here, and I'll add another one here. And then one more, which will be a submit button. And I'll move that here. can go ahead and align those to the center if I want. So now I'm going to connect my button. So I'm going to come over here to edit object. The mode of the button I'm going to choose is the actual button option here. Now you'll need to make sure in order for this to work that you do choose an autoresponder. So again, you'll have to have connected one prior to getting to this point. You'll also need to select a list inside that autoresponder. Now here's where you get to connect it to the next page in your funnel under redirection type. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that drop down menu and I'm going to click on next funnel step. If you want to change the button at all, you can do that. And again, we've gone over that in another video, so I'm just going to keep it simple here. And then I'm going to want to make sure that I save my page. Now I'm going to come over here and actually make sure that I have created my second page because it's not going to do our customers much good to connect them to that thank you page if we haven't built it yet. So I'm going to come over here and for this one I'm actually going to use a template. So I'm just going to select this thank you template. I'm not even going to edit it in the builder. I just want to show you how these work together. So what I'm going to do is come over here and I'm going to show you this page again. I'm going to go ahead and preview this page so you can see how it all works together. So you'll probably have text or video or something else to make this look a little bit more fancy. Um, but again, I'll just type in a name and an email. And I'm going to click on submit. And now you can see it's connected my customer to the very next page in my funnel, which is that thank you page. And that's how you connect one page to another inside of X funnels. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.